That's the spirit of community. And I hope today, as we are dedicating and consecrating this beautiful church, named after St. Charity, would we'll be inspired by the way St. Charity spend hours and hours in church, daily basis, raising his hands, becoming really uh, completely immersed in his love for the world. Doesn't count, he doesn't look at his watch, doesn't listening to the voice of the phones ringing. He was listening to the voice of God ringing and knocking at the door of his heart. And he's telling the Lord, you have not only my heart, you have my heart, my mind, everything I have is yours. All of me is yours as well. Come and dwell in me. And I hope you and I today will tell the Lord, come and dwell in every parishioner, in every time, in this beautiful church, in this beautiful home, that we really striving to have it. And finally here we are. We have a church here. This dream became a reality. And I hope this reality is not just for one day, the day of the consecration of the church. It's from now on, for every day of my life, St. Shadwell and a pastor is a beautiful face for me. And a pastor is really a passage. Let this church be our passage to the Lord himself. And one day, after a long life, all the way to heaven, to be with the Lord, forever and ever. You need to get to heaven, you need to pass through the church. And let our church, St. Shadowy Church, be our passage all the way to heaven, as God wants us to be. I hope you and I will feel that the spiritual closeness to God and will really walk this journey with the Lord every step of the way. And may we be always on Jesus' side, as he's telling us, are you on my side or against me? And he's the one who doesn't do anything for me. Those are people, one day he said it in, in the book of Revelation, the letter to the Lord, he said, you neither have nor fall. I want to get you out of it. And I hope you won't. We cannot stay washing and standing on the side. Please get involved. Take part of the church. Be part of the life of the church. So that all together, with in one voice, one heart, one spirit, we're glorifying God, praising Him, and telling the Lord, here we are to do your will for me.